if the baguettes are admissible we are supposed to consider whole baguettes not this value the whole baguettes we are supposed to consider gst sales tax vat we don't consider because that is part of your business interest on capital whatever excess of 12 percent we are supposed to calculate we will not calculate why because it is not following section 184 A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adasa here, lecturing with the Ashram Facility College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are discussing your session 8. As I told you, we are going to discuss few problems which are asked in your previous year exam question paper. And in today's session, we will discuss those kind of problems so that you will understand better. Now, in today's session, we'll work out one problem on your assessment of partnership form. In this, these are your questions. X, Y, Z are equal partners in form with X being a non-working partner. X, Y, Z, three are there. X we have to consider as non-working partner. The profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2020. All the informations are given below. Now, so these are the informations are there. If you have not watched the previous session, please go back and watch. Why? Because I explained you all the concept or whole format in the previous session. So that will really help you how to do your assessment of partnership form and what are the procedure you are supposed to follow. Everything I have explained you in the previous session. If you are not watched, please go back, watch and come back to this particular session. Now, so these are the things we have. What we are supposed to do? We have to find out book profit. How do we find out book profit? You have to start your problem with net profit. You have to start your problem with what? Net profit. How to find out? Very simple. The net profit is already there given. Net profit already given, it is 25,000. Start your problem with 25,000. Now, add all inadmissible expenses. What are inadmissible expenses which are not related to business? Now, we go for that. Before that, we'll see the adjustments. So there are so many adjustments are there. Those are like salary include partner's salary 15,000 and 10,000. So salary includes these two also. Baguettes admissible by the department 12,500. If the baguettes are admissible, we are supposed to consider whole baguettes, not this value. The whole baguettes we are supposed to consider then. Furniture purchased by X for personal use. If it is personal use, you are supposed to take. Where it is? It is in sundry expenses. Next. Donation include donation to local school 3,500. Check to club 1,000 rupees and to the trade association 500. This we will not take. Rest of the things we will take because trade association is business related. Other than that, we are supposed to take everything. Then capital account of partners at the beginning. These are the capitals we have. Office expenses include bonus to partners. And so what is bonus to partners in this? 1000, 2500, 1500. These are the information. We will add one more information in this. So what is that? One more information. It is there in your question paper. I'll add that information. So not following section 184. So last previous problem what we did, it is following section 184. But this problem we are doing like not following section 184. Then what we are supposed to do? Then interest on capital, what you are supposed to calculate, like excess of 12% will not apply for this. Again, I'll repeat, interest on capital, whatever excess of 12% we are supposed to calculate, we will not calculate. Why? Because it is not following section 184. I have added this extra adjustment because in your original question paper, last year question paper, it is there. So it is not mentioned here. That's why I have added. Hope you are clear. 
Yes. Now, so we'll start our problem now. So these are the informations are there. So how to consider like first one rent part of your business. Remember in the previous session, I'll give you complete list. Then office expenses. Do we have any adjustment? We'll check. So in this office expenses, yes, there is no adjustment. So it is a part of your business. So we will not consider salary, 1 lakh is there, but in the adjustment they have given. Salary includes partner's salary, 15,000 and 10,000, Y and Z, 15 and 10. So salary, Y is 15,000 and Z is 10,000. We are supposed to consider this. We are supposed to consider this. Then. So next one, what we have advertisement, part of the business, goods, GST, part of the business. As I told you, GST, sales tax, what? We don't consider because that is part of your business. Other than that, if you get municipal tax, RLS, your income tax, advanced tax, everything you are supposed to take it as inadmissible then. Advertisement is over, goods and service tax is part of your this thing. Charity and donation, we have 5,000. Remember, are we supposed to take complete 5,000? No. Why? Because out of 5,000, 3,500 and 1,000 belongs to, not belongs to business, but this 500 belongs to trade association. So how much we are supposed to take? 3.5 plus 1, 4.5 only personal. Now, in this charity, 3,500 plus 1,000 only we are supposed to consider as inadmissible then. Baggage reserve, yes, you are supposed to take. Baggage you are not supposed to take, but in this problem they have mentioned that baggage admissible by the department, irrespective of amount, you are supposed to take full. So baggage, sundry expenses, it is a part of your business, but in this problem, you have adjustment, baggage admissible by department. So other than that, yes, furniture purchased 10,000 has been debited to sundry expenses. Now, sundry expenses we have 20, but we take only 10,000 because 10,000 belongs to your to business and balance 10,000 not belongs to business. Depreciation allowed by department. Do we have any adjustment here? No, so we are not taking. Then, interest on capital, complete amount we take irrespective of your 12%. Excess of 12%, we will don't do calculation. Why? Because this is not covered under section 184. Full value, take it. Commission, full value, take it. And we are done with this. And is there any other adjustment? Capital irrespective, office expenses include bonus, 1000, 2500 and 1500, office expenses, how much it is, 1000, 2500, 1500, where is office expense here, 1000, 2500 and 1500, this is what, these are called as bonus, hope you are clear. Yes, so up to this we have done actually, commission is done and your net profit part also we have completed. Now on your credit side what we are supposed to do, only we get bank interest, budgets recovered part of the business, discount part of the business, gross profit also part of the business. We have only how much? 3000 along with this, along with this we have adjustment called bad debts, where is the bad debts? Yes. 12,500 given in the question also given in the adjustment also what we are supposed to do whatever given in the question we are supposed to add whatever given in the adjustment we are supposed to minus remember that and this trade association donation it is included in this donation so we are supposed to minus that hope you are clear I'll show you that now so we'll go to the answer. Answer will start from what? Your net profit. Now, so, so your net profit. What is your net profit? Your net profit as per the question is 25,000. 
25,000. Now add all inadmissible expenses. Now add in admissible items we can call it as in admissible items which are those like i'll go back to your question we'll go one by one as per this we have office expenses 1000 plus 2500 plus 1500 we get around 5000 office expenses 5000 office expenses 5000 then after that we have salary 15 plus 10 25 salary 25000 then i'll mention here only 15000 plus 10000 and this one what is the calculation 1000, 2500, 1500. 1000, 2500, 1500. Hope you are clear. Good. Next. After this, we have salary is over, advertisement part of the business, GST part, charity 3.5 plus 1. It comes around 4500. Charity. Charity, it is 3,500 plus how much? 1,500. I'll check how much it is. 1,000. So it is 4,500. 1,000. So it is 4,500 is your charity. Hope you are clear. Yes. So we're done with the charity. Then after charity, what is the next one? Bad debts reserve 10,000, bad debts 15,000, bad debts reserve 10,000, bad debts reserve 10,000, bad debts, how much? The reserve is 10,000 and but bad debts is 15,000. You can do one thing like Bad debts 15,000 as per adjustment it is 12,500. That difference of 2,500 you can write or else 15,000 add here then 12,500 you can minus. The final answer will be 2,500. Anything you can do. Now in this bad debts 15,000. After that uh, we have sundry expense of worth rupees 10,000. Sundry expense worth of rupees 10,000. Then, after sundry expenses, donation includes is over. Yes. Then, depreciation allowed will not take because we don't have any adjustments. And interest on capital, whole value we take. Why? Because it's not covered under section 184. So, 50 plus 25 plus 25, it is. 1 lakh. So, your interest on capital is 1 lakh. Interest on capital, interest on capital, 1 lakh. Then, after interest on capital, we have commission worth rupees how much? So, 15 plus 10 plus 5, it is almost 25. 30,000. So it comes around how much? 30,000. Commission 30,000. So up to this, you are done. We have done with your commission also. We have taken commission. Is there anything to add? Check. Almost we have covered everything which are there in the adjustment. So furniture also we have considered, yes, yes, we have taken almost everything. These are the things you are supposed to add. So what is the total now? We'll add this. Your total is 5,000 plus 25,000 plus 4,500 plus 10,000 plus 15,000 
and 10,000 and 1 lakh with 30,000. So I got around 1 lakh 99,500. So I'll take it. 1,99,500. These are your answers. I'll check it once again. 5,000 plus 25,000 plus 4,500 plus 10,000 plus 15,000 plus 10,000 plus 1 lakh plus 30,000. I got around 1 lakh 99 final. What we are supposed to minus now? All the inadmissible items I have added. Now you are supposed to do minus deduction. Which are those? I'll show you. Less other head incomes. Other head incomes. Which are those other head income? Very simple. In this. Bank interest 3000 is a other head income. Bank interest, bank interest, how much? 3000. And one more we have in the adjustment. What is that? So, in the bad debts admissible by department 125. As I told you, you can do it directly. 15 minus 12,500, 2500, you can add there itself. RS 15,000 add. 12,500 minus same answer you will get. So 12,500 it is bad debts admissible by department. Now bad debts 12,500 that's it. Now it is 15,500. Hope you are clear this much only you are supposed to do. Now so what you are supposed to do now, these are minus and you will get your book profit. So what is your book profit if you do this? If you do this, your book profit will be like, so 25,000 plus 199,500 minus 15,500, I got 2,9,000. What is your answer? 2,9,000 is your answer. This we call it as your book profit. Hope you are clear. Yes. So it is not complicated actually. There are so many adjustments are there. Remember, work out this problem two to three times because answer is with you. You will understand what to do with bad debts, what to do with depreciation, what to do with if there is any personal expenses or what is section 184. Everything you will understand if you work out this problem. Easiest one. So you can learn so many concepts from this particular topic. Now I'll go back to your previous slides. Please work out. Uh, please take a screenshot. So this is your problem. Problem number 13. Your question, question, your answer, your answer, yes. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Yes. So please work out the same problem at your home twice so that you will understand better. Thank you.